Madhouse Podcasting Network. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, good to go. Okay, so I'm good to start now. You can start Okay. right about, hold on, wait, wait, I'm just kidding, you can go ahead and start, dude. Dick. <laughs> I'd love to give you a hard time. Yeah. And not in a hey good everybody. way. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode <laughs> of Behind the Mask. I am your co-host, Scott, with uh, our host, He is Jeremy. an equal host. Yeah, whatever. And today we have a longtime friend of mine, old haunt monster from way back in the day to current, Angel Martinez. How's it going, Angel? Oh, it's going well. I'm not that old, but, uh, you know, it it feels like it sometimes. (laughs) Old enough. Old enough. Old old enough. Old enough to have seen all the good stuff. (laughs) Yeah. So today we're actually going to get into a couple of different areas. Uh, West Coast haunt and then what, what is Seattle? Midwest? Northwest. Northwest, Northwest, there you go. Duh, Northwest possessed my bad. <laughs> my bad. So we're going to get into, you know, two different areas of haunts since uh, Angel's comes from the West Coast and now he's a transplant in the Northwest. So um, let's just get right into it and get into nitty gritty. But, dude, we're going to go back to your humble beginnings, bro. Oh, let's do it, man. I, I still remember them, so. <laughs> yeah, that's good because I'm. we're going we're gonna to dig and pick a little bit and see what you got going on in your past. Oh, so, yeah. Oh yeah. Before we even get into that, have you always been like a Halloween quote unquote geek like Jeremy and I? Oh my god, yeah, man. Uh I can remember uh we didn't have a ton of money for costumes, so one year I wanted to be the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. I got put in a box of baby diapers that was wrapped in foil. I was gonna say cardboard box. Yeah, the, the, the big old Huggies box. Y'all don't. Uh, a lot of the listeners don't remember, but back in the day, Huggies came in big cardboard boxes. Yep. Oh. I and remember. basically, they just cut out armholes and some leg holes for me, and that was me. And then I had like a, a oil pan friggin' hat and everything. Like, yeah. I've been into it. I've been into it since I can remember, man. And so it's funny because like my my family was all into it. I just see all these pictures of them when they were younger, just completely to the nines in like full gear. And I'm like, oh, that's where we get it from. Cause my brothers are in the industry as well. So it's like, well, it's a family thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, guess, I guess this is just, uh, you know, move, uh, keeping tradition moving. So yeah, cool. So, okay. So what do you think? Maybe like nine, 10 years old, Mr. Mr. Huggies man? Five, six, <laughs> maybe five, five years, six. Old, six years old. Yeah, give or take. We have a new <laughs> nickname for you now. Huggies. <laughs> Huggies. <laughs> <laughs> It could be worse. It could be Pampers. That's very yeah, true. <laughs> loves could be loves. <laughs> okay, so as you started getting older, and I mean, what about what age do you think you're like? Oh, I want to go actually scare people in the sense of I want to do like. Did you ever do any kind of home haunts or anything like that? Or we okay? So I I was digging it when I was younger, but as a as a teenager, I I still had anxieties and stuff. So I was scared to go to haunt. Like I, I wasn't ready to go to haunt. It wasn't until I met my buddy Tony, uh, Howells the White Girl, Anthony, Anthony. Yeah, exactly. That uh, I was like, okay, this isn't that bad. He's he's gonna take me my first time. Cool. I'm I'm with a cool dude. Like yeah, we're cool. We'll be all right. Scared the crap out of me, but. I saw through his eyes like how it went down. I was like, I want to do this. This is this is rad, man. Yeah, but uh, we weren't quite ready to do it at the time. He was he was working haunt. Uh, I was working Disney, but we decided uh, let's make our own haunted house, man. We can we can do it. We were maybe 17, 18, 18, 19. Yeah, and you we got that a, long. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, I've known him since middle school. Wow. I've known him since uh, seventh grade, man. Seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like peace in the pot with that guy. Um, but yeah, we we were at my buddy's house and we're like, we could turn this place into a little haunt. And I swear to God, we pulled it out of our butts, but we turned his little backyard into a haunt. Right. And we, yeah, we employed my little brother to come along. We had a pool table. We covered it in foil and put uh, like a fake body on it. He dressed like a clown. We had strobe lights that we used from Anthony's room. And like, we just put... 
cobble everything we could together to put it together like a little home haunt. Nice. So what did you use for walls? The voting booth cardboard? Oh, it was plastic. We had plastic. <laughs> Oh, okay. The garbage bags cut in half and going yeah. down. Yeah, that's that's how we rolled. But we got the neighborhood kids to come through. They were scaring the crap out of them. I was like barking people to come in from the roof with a, a fake spider on a string, scaring people in line. <laughs> like, so we had it in down. the days of haunting people, <laughs> and scaring people. Yep. I get that. And that's all it took. <laughs> so you said you said you guys were like 16, 17? Uh, 17, 18, something like that. Okay, so about I think high school. <laughs> so what was okay? So correct me if I'm wrong. Your first actual quote unquote event, haunt event that you worked at, that was shipwreck, right? Yes, that was shipwreck in '04. Okay, first time. So, so what were you 19 at that time? I was about 22, 23. What? Yeah, I thought it's you started before. younger than that. In '04. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, well, I think yeah, 22, 23. Okay. Okay, so your first year, you know, you're doing shipwreck. Obviously, that changed over to Dark Harbor later, but tell us a little about your experience with the years in shipwreck there, and then we'll just kind of parlay that into, you know, when it rolls into Dark Harbor. Yeah, uh, so shipwreck was pretty crazy. Uh, we, we went there on the basis that Tony wasn't working Haunt anymore. And I was like, okay, well, if you're not going to work there, like, I don't know if I want to work there. And he's like, well, I'm going to go try out Queen Mary, man. You want to go with? And I was like, okay, let's go. I'll go, I'll go give it a try. Yeah. He's like, all right, man, you want to slide? And I was like, might as well, dude. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to go whole hog, I'm going to go whole hog. Yeah. I'm so gonna he, my him and, uh, yeah. Him and Lee ended up training me in our backyard, like in our back parking lot yard. <laughs> nice. Jeez. And so we went down. We uh, filled out everything. They, there wasn't really an, uh, an audition process back then. It was like, you have a pulse? Yeah, okay, good, you're in. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna bring you in, we need bodies. <laughs> yeah, you're in, are you available on Saturday? Yeah, okay, good, you're in, come on yeah. in. Uh, so we went and uh, we started there and we told them, yeah, we're all sliders. I kind of fibbed a little bit, but you know, I was with <laughs> yeah. good company and I could fake the funk until you know the funk, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You faked it all the way up to 2016. Was the last time. I, yeah, you know, I, I'm still faking it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the people up here know know less about it, so it's good. That's a good thing for me. <laughs> it makes it easier. Exactly, exactly. So anyway, we um we went in, got hired, told them we're sliders, but they're like, well, we don't really have that. We have like one or two guys here, but you know. It's not really something we're looking at. We're like, okay, well, whatever. Well, we still want to scare. And so they stuck us in a maze. We it was <laughs> it was shipwreck, so the production value wasn't exactly like you know stunning, but it was it was doable. It was card card uh, cardboard walls and you know painting on the cardboard and right. It's real simple stuff, real simple stuff, real simple themes, whatever. And so we were in there, and our uh, our maze lead started to notice that we were kind of just a little bit more into it and we had the gear on and we were sliding in the maze to kind of just you know get our little uh, our little rocks off we were having yeah, to get your fix man yeah we, we got our fix basically and then they're like you know what why don't you guys come outside to the plaza for for a night just kind of show us you know that you can handle it and i was like all right yeah, went out yeah. there we tore the place up and they and they all just stood there watching they're like yeah we like this <laughs> yes we can get these guys to be out here every night and I think after like the first like week or two, they're like, okay, you, you guys are out on the street tonight. You're not in the maze. Okay. Right. Nice. And, yeah, it's it's been it's been that ever since, man. Just well, I did know that the three of you guys were kind of the were, were the were the real major start of the sliders over there at Queen Mary. Yeah, a little bit. Um the, the guys they had there, um they had three of them originally. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, X was one of their uh, oldest guys that was there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. and there was uh, two other cats, and they're good guys. I didn't meet one of them. He left the year we came in, so it ended up being just one guy, X. Okay. And then uh, a year later, Pills came back, and uh, you know, it's it was contentious at first. We were kind of like, "Who's this guy?" And then he was like, "Who are these guys?" But yeah. after sliding with each other and watching each other's backs, we were watching his back. He was watching ours. It, it just became a friendship. And, we, I still love that guy to this day, man. That's good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, we went in and just made friends with everybody we went, we came in contact with. So like, I don't think so, we met anybody we didn't like. <laughs> right? 
That's you, that's how it should be. Honestly. That's how it should be exactly, and that's why we're like, we're gonna stay here. This is nice. There's no yeah. drama for the most part. Like it's it all stays quiet, and we're just here to scare and then go home. <laughs> well, as 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 this this uh, podcast progresses, we'll touch back on that that mm. whole you know community aspect of it because you oh, know, yeah. have have uh, a good chunk of history in that and what what happened later on in your career. Right. Um, so you were it was shipwreck for six years then right uh it before was it changed shipwreck, hands. yeah before it changed hands it changed hands in what 2010 10. yeah 2010. yeah yeah, yeah. but before that yeah it was shipwreck and then the year before uh harbor took over it was like uh some like club promotion company came in and took over well you know what's funny is i remember going there one year and the biggest attraction for me that I recall was the club on the boat. That was always it, man. Yeah. That was always that was fun. You know what's funny is? It was both our biggest draw and our biggest pain. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's where all the fights started. Yeah. Of course. At least it was contained on the boat. Yeah. Well, no, no. It would spill out. It would spill oh, out, geez. man. We'd have security guards running through there, chasing guys, five yeah. guys running up on another guy. We're just like, Okay, we're gonna be over here. Yeah, yeah. we're just gonna watch. We're just gonna watch. It's, it's entertaining for us. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, you started in a in a maze for a couple of a couple of nights or a couple of weeks, and then what maze was that? I don't remember what there was there at the time. Oh, it was one called Trail of Terror, and it was it was a legit a uh, 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 western themed one in the middle of this boat. It's yeah, so weird. So weird and so <laughs> random. Like, but you know, they, at least they were trying something. Yeah, they were trying something. Like, okay, back then, I remember there was some. Okay, they have the they have the free mazes on the boat now, but like, there were some that were on that midway area right before you get onto the boat. Yeah, the cement yeah. walkway. Yep. So I remember they had them there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, most of them were there. Uh, they were. I think two of them running through the old gift shops that used to be there that Disney set up back in the day. Yeah. So there was a few running through there. Uh, ours was outside in the dead center of the plaza. And then I believe <laughs> there was one or two on the boat. But just yeah, like okay. in the back. But yeah, yeah no, they, they, they made the best with what the space they had. So yeah, no, it makes sense. And, and you know, the, the money they have to do it. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so just from, just from that era of your time, I mean, is there any like really good stories that, I mean, obviously it's way back in the day, so you know, we're all <laughs> old here, so you may not remember, but um, are there any really good stories that you want to bring up in this? Because these are always interesting for like the viewers to hear some of the stuff that what us being, you know, being characters and going forward and doing other stuff, what it's like on the other side. Oh man, that place, that place. Um... If you looked up ghetto in the dictionary, you would definitely see a picture of Queen Mary shipwreck. <laughs> man, we we attracted some really bad bad characters. Man, there would be some. We I had my mask slashed out with a knife. Oh, uh, we've been punched. We've been kicked. We've been uh, gang jumped. I had five guys jump on me one time. That was awesome. You're like, okay. But it was rough. It was a rough crowd, and we knew that going in. We went in. We're like. Hey, look, it's Long Beach, man. It's a yep. little bit tougher. We can handle it. We can handle it. And but that's yeah, the uh, that, that's the yeah. haunt industry in general, though. Is there's yeah, some, there's true. something about like haunt events that just attract these like ghetto fucking bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just there to start shit, and it's something to do for them. Yeah. They don't really care. They're not there for the scare. They're... Yeah, well, they go in with that mentality of like, well, someone scares me because I'm a tough guy. I'm gonna punch him in his mouth. Yeah, it's, yeah, those guys. I, uh, you know, God bless those guys because they taught me how to duck and weave, man. Exactly. They, they taught me everything I needed to they know. Taught, they teach you how to read a crowd too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You can see the bad people coming. You're like, oh yeah, nah, gonna avoid that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can just tell by the mannerisms. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. You know. So, uh, so Long Beach was a target-rich environment to learn the trade. Like you just saw all the bad right away, and you're like, okay, day I can, one, I can yeah. do this. I can do this but yeah no uh, there's there's so many of those stories though that just oh my god I, i'm i'm surprised we survived <laughs> yeah and that you can still do it to this day exactly you know exactly. so about about when was it during shipwreck time where like the slider number started increasing or did that change 
did they start increasing more when when it turned into dark harbor i'm just trying to get a timeline here and I, you know what, honestly, I, it built really slowly. It built really slowly from the time we were there because it was just us three and X, so just uh-huh. the four of us. Right. And then throughout the years up from 04 to 2010, we collected a couple more people. Not a ton, but a couple more. Right. And uh, there was, uh, I believe the first one that really came onto the scene after we were there was uh, uh, Squeaks, Raleigh. Yeah. He came in, and then... And then Raleigh was kind of like the ambassador to everybody else, and he started getting people interested, and people were coming in and talking. They're like, oh, we know that guy. He's the tall slider. And then, oh, you guys are the other sliders. And then it all just, you know, kind of fanned out from there. Right. And then we started building the team, and then the team just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, during that time, I mean, you guys, your guys' numbers were bigger than it, than it is now. I know that. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. it was. We had a lot of people on the team. They they really wanted more people on the street. Once they saw what we were capable of, they're like, "Look, is there more of you? Can we have more of you guys?" And it's like, "Well, yeah, I guess so." It's like, <laughs> we can find some people. <laughs> yeah. So at that time too, like you said, there's no audition process. So when these new people came in that were interested in that, you just kind of like, did you guys go take them through any kind of like a basic test, or you just watch them slides? Like, okay, you're good to go. Basically, it was like, look, here's the gear. If you can afford it and you want to come out and play with us, come on out. Let's see what you got. And a lot of people took up the invitation, and some people came and saw, and I was like, nah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, with their first couple of slides, it was like, okay, no, I don't want to play. I'm dead. Yeah. Like, we're, we're, we're done with this nonsense. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I, I'll, I'll give it to a lot of them. A lot of them had the heart that they wanted to do it. Yeah. But they just they they didn't want to practice enough to get good at it. Yeah. So unfortunately, we we couldn't add them to the team we wanted to, but they just they yeah. didn't want to up their game either. So it's like, oh well, sorry. So maybe we got that reputation that we were terrible people. But I was like, no, that's not it, man. Yeah, you guys were horrible, horrible. <laughs> yeah, horrible. Terrible. Oh man, so much smack talk. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing: like both Jeremy and I, being from KSF, and you know Anthony and Lee too, right? Mm-hmm. But all that smack talk stuff, it was from the shipwreck era. It wasn't from the Dark Harbor yeah. area. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It all it all ended when once Dark Harbor came over and took over. It was, we were legitimized by Dark Harbor. Like, Dark yeah. Harbor came in and just made us, made us have a reputation. We had something behind our backs. Yeah. We weren't just the guys down at the boat just staring with the cardboard or plywood freaking mazes. Yeah, you were no longer the ruffians. The ruffians, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that title. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't know how I remember that, but I do. The ruffians. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so, okay, as things started happening, you guys were staring, your, your numbers are increasing. I know we're kind of focusing a little bit on the sliding portion. Mm-hmm. Um, we can branch out on that, but that's a big part of your history, you know? Yeah, so that's you. what we're touching on. Yeah. Um, about when did you guys start implementing some kind of a show for the event? Was that when Dark Harbor kicked in, or was that still during the shipwreck era? We started to kind of have the first inklings that we could do it around the shipwreck era. They, okay. they didn't give us anything specifically. They didn't give us like a, a time to do it or a space to do it. We were just screwing around. <laughs> we, we were bored and the crowds were a little bit low and it's like, well, you guys wanna screw around? And we'll just do some stuff here in the, in the, in the what is now Slider Alley. I'm like, yeah, okay, why not? We start doing it. We're just messing around. We're going through each other's legs. We're jumping each other. We're just, you know, doing silly stuff, playing slider horse, stuff like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, true. the management looks, and they're like, oh, hey. And then they look around, and they see all the people sitting on the benches and the planners and yeah. like standing yeah. above the planners to watch. And it's like, I think we might have something here. So why don't, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, why don't we see if we can do something with it? Mm-hmm. And you know, the slider that's... alley you had is gone, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, because Carnival bought the dome. Oh, so, did they? Yeah. So now, oh Old Slider Alley is a fire lane. Oh, is it? Real? Oh, my God. So, <laughs> you know where New Slider Alley is? Where's that? Just like if you're looking from, I guess you could say from the top of where Slider Alley is, where you always start, mm-hmm. down to the bottom, it's just to the left of it on the hill part of the asphalt. Ooh. Very short, rough, but it's fast and it's downhill. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's the only other place that they could move it to. 
Oh, wow. I thought you knew that, dude. I, you know what? I haven't kept up, man. I've tried, but for the most part, I'm busy with my new hunt. So I, yeah, I try to stay with people and like get little bits and pieces here, but yeah, I, I, I got to get my guys, my full attention at this point. Oh, I get it. Trust me. We're going to, we're going to get to that, but I just want to get through your history of it. Oh you man, know? that's awesome. Well, no, I, I have heard about the Queen Mary and it not doing very good right now. Like, well, it's not even happening and the boat is, well, you know, the boat is like, the boat is going down. Yeah. yeah it's crap. virtually that's, sinking. So that's a lot of money to fix something that wasn't making a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. It's like, so, it's, a, it's a damn shame. It's an absolute damn shame, but yeah. Um, we did uh, Jeremy and I both went to, I, Jeremy, I don't think you were there for the, uh, the dark Harbor panel. But we both went to Awaken the Spirits in Pasadena, yeah. that midsummer. Oh, show. nice! Yeah. And I sat in on that Dark Harbor panel, and they were talking about like, uh, of course, the question was asked, "Hey, you know, what's what? When is it going to come back?" And they're still planning like 2022 is going to be the return of the Dark of Dark Harbor. Okay. So, no which is which is great. You know, they're hoping. I mean, hoping. Yeah, <laughs> they're hoping. Yeah, they're hoping. It's all that's all in what the city does with that boat, man. Yeah. You know, it's it's sad well i mean the people that held the lease they went they went bankrupt yeah yeah so you know hey, shady stuff there but you know it is what it is i'm like yeah, this exactly. thing brought in nothing but money how did our event not save this boat <laughs> oh i know <clears throat> oh my it's, God. it's it's over a hundred million dollars to do anything to it to save it so you know oh, God. yeah okay so we got to the shipwreck era. Let's let's talk about like what do you like when 2010 comes around, Dark Harbor starts in and you come in. Like let's talk a little bit about that and the the differences between the two that you noticed from a talent's perspective. Oh man, it was night and day, night and day. We came in, they were absolutely professional. They had all their uh, all their forms ready to go. They had acting classes. You had to audition. They had to test us to see if we could slide and not hurt anybody. I was like, we've been legitimized. I love this. Yes. We had costume designers. <laughs> it was it was incredible. It was like it was like going to Knott's Hunt. It was like now being a Knott's Hunt. Because that's, that's the easiest way I can describe it, because that's exactly what Lee and Tony said. It's like, dude, this was like Haunt. Yeah. Like, we had all this stuff at Haunt. Now we have it here. And it's like, yes. Yeah, because before you guys had to do, supply everything yourselves, right? Oh yeah, it was all on us. It was like yeah. costumes were all on us, like all the gear was all on us, like everything was on us. But here they were like, "Okay, here, come talk to your uh, costume designer. She's gonna go over everything with you." And I'm like, "Whoa, like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, cool." <laughs> yeah, and yeah, uh, Katie, Katie was our costume designer. God bless her. She was amazing, She's absolutely amazing at her job. She's and she been made all the way to twenty dollars, twenty nineteen, dude. Yeah, exactly. we we looked like a million dollars when she she took us over and made us all look the way we did. Yeah, it's, like I said, you can see pictures of us from shipwreck days and pictures of us from harbor days, and it's like those aren't even the same guys. I know, and I've experienced both. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Color <laughs> on both sides. You know man. both those guys. <laughs> yeah. So okay, obviously the production value was better, um, and that was obviously David's team. You know, that came in Mike Kodu. Which yes, yes. you know, I, I can't speak highly enough of him yep. and the group. They're amazing people to work with. They know how to yeah. put a show together, man. They really do. Yeah. No matter so, what they touch, it's it's gonna be an amazing show. You already know it right there. Yeah. So comparing the two eras, like as Dark Harbor progressed, did you see like noticeable improvements year after year that was good for the event and beneficial for you guys as talent? Every year, every single year we saw something new that was like Wow, that this is really adding legitimacy to this event. This is you're be, you're making it an event, not just. And you know, there's there's a couple of mazes over at the Queen Mary. You know, go for it. This yeah. was like a thing to be. And then all the other haunts started to take notice too. And that's when we really knew, dude, we're onto something because the haunt monsters are coming to see us and the Six Flags monsters are coming to see us. It's like we're onto something. Yeah. Yes, yeah. all right, cool. But yeah, no, it it, it felt like. It felt like uh, having two different sets of parents. <laughs> and the <laughs> parents were the ones that didn't really care what you did, just come home by the end of the night. And yeah. the Dark Harbor parents were the ones who nurtured you, made sure you went to school, fed you a nice warm meal at the end of the day, like <laughs> loved you, gave you praise and all that. And so yeah. 
That's kind of what it felt like. It was like, it's, you've never been loved. Come here and get loved. Yeah. <laughs> and at that point, too, obviously, the numbers for talent increased as well, right? Because, I mean, they started using... Yes. They started using the history of the boat at that time too. I know that. Yeah, that, you know, once they started using that and really applying it to the event, that's like, like, like I said, it gave us legitimacy. Like all of a sudden, we were an event to be messed with. It was, yeah, it was a good feeling. It was a real good feeling. I that feeling <laughs> kind of reflected in all the all the people who were working there because all of a sudden you had this sense of pride, this absolute sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Dark Harbor. Yeah, we I, here's my flyer. Like we have flyers. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas back in back in the shipwreck days, we used to laugh at the fact that we were employed there, and we'd always they'd always try and motivate us and be like, "Can we get a shipwreck?" And everybody would go shipwreck. And of course, there was a lot of us who were like, "Can I get a paycheck?" Yeah. And that's what we were right. saying. Like we were just there for a couple of bucks. <laughs> Can I get a paycheck? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh God. Every single so, time, man. Every single time. Can I get a shipwreck? Paycheck. Yeah. It's like, yeah. If you get a paycheck, you get a shipwreck. Other than that, exactly. It's like, as long as I get paid, I'll say whatever you want me to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as time went on, obviously, I because I know you guys' characters changed year to year for a long time. Oh yeah. Oh you know, yeah. I mean, I, I know you guys went to uh, what is it? Um, Vatos or whatever it was that one year. Oh, Vato Locos. Uh, oh my dude. gosh. They, were, like, <laughs> they had skeleton faces. Yeah. yeah. Bandanas and they were wearing flannels. It was hilarious. And you wonder why you got jumped. I know, right? <laughs> we put it on and I'm like, are, are we sure we should be doing this here, you guys? Oh my yeah. gosh. So this was this was the be very beginning of Dark Harbor, huh? Right, right. We 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 had they had themes and we, we stuck to them for the most part, but then every year they, they just got more creative and they're like, well, we can do this instead. And it's like, can you guys do this to blend with the theme? Heck yeah, we can. All right, sure. And so every year it was cool. We were like, we were like the poster kids for the new theme. Yeah. So every year the sliders were whatever the big theme or whatever the new big maze was and just kept moving and moving. And that was yeah, so we great. That was so great for our creativity, man. It just kept us on our toes. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think what year it was that was when you guys were um, not not the year when you guys were steampunk. What was the one before that? Uh, we were steampunk. We were um, uh, shore patrol. What? When, when when Dead Rise came in, we why were all why? shore patrol guys. <laughs> what? Shut up. Yeah. Okay, I'll you need to talk about that because that's funny. <laughs> I'll send you pictures. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, you need to send us pictures because what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna plug them in and <laughs> Jeremy's oh, gonna nice. plug them in before <laughs> it goes it goes to the YouTube channel. Prefer uh, uh, prefer yeah. video, but you know. Yeah. Whatever you can, whatever know, you can send us. From back in that day, man. Yeah, whatever you can send. Oh yeah. It's gonna happen too because back in those days it wasn't cell phone pictures, it was hard copy pictures. Exactly. So you picture yeah, yeah, still yeah. with the cameras yeah. and people have camcorder video of us. Like yeah. Yeah, we we miss the big iPhone launches. It's stuff. funny because uh, we go we've been going through a lot of history. We've had a couple of uh, old vets from Haunt and just trying to find stuff from those from those days. They don't have them. Like just yeah. even trying to find. It's been a pain. It's I tough. think I literally have like five or six pictures from my shipwreck days. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> I saw that pretty... one you just posted. Yeah, I just barely found that one. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it was, Jeremy, it was so bad. It was good. Was <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this, this is the bad. Best. <laughs> yeah. So when they change, um, so they change your guys' costumes, I guess you could say every year, and you're, you're theming. Do you yeah. guys, did you guys take that opportunity and basically change your character, your your mannerisms and your walk and, and stuff like that? Yeah, anything they gave us, they they gave us kind of a story behind it and what they kind of expected. Nice. And but the the cool thing about them is they they just let us run with it. They're like, this is your character. However, this is your character as a slider, so you define what that means. And it was great. We, we were given kind of an artistic freedom to just do what we needed to do. I mean, all all within the parameters of what they were trying to do. Right. But we understood we were kind of a different beast altogether. That's kind, yeah. of, that's kind of like how Knots was slash still kind of is. Um, yeah. 
you you know they they, <clears throat> they really rely on the care on the um scare actors to or sorry they call them talent um to <laughs> create the character the backstory uh and all that stuff so it's it's really i like it when when events do that yeah. <clears throat> you know when you have events that just have pigeonholed you to a character and it's like you do this and that's all you do you can't do anything else this is what you say you can't say anything else don't do anything else it really it really uh, shackles you into being boring really yeah yeah so. sadly that's that's what it does come down to i mean i i not to talk trash on universal they are <laughs> I, I didn't have, i didn't have to say it this time <laughs> they're absolutely amazing god bless them but i want to do it this time like those guys don't have a lot of freedom <laughs> Oh my god! I wasn't even. Yeah, I was just talking in general. I wasn't even really talking <laughs> about them. And then Scott gets so up, kind of upset because he's he's really trying to work with them, which is great. I think it's awesome. Um, no, they are incredible. And, They're absolutely but incredible. We are not. We are not bashing them. We're not bashing yeah. them. We're just no. kind of making a point of, you know, giving your character, your actors, freedom yeah. really elevates the event. Yeah. Exponentially. Yeah, people come back for characters. They don't come back because they just some guy came through a, a curtain and that was it. You know, like they came back for you know Monstar. They came back for Andros or Pyro, mm -hmm. you know Goblin. Like yeah. they can, they come back for those characters. And if you don't mm -hmm. give them that freedom, it's there's not much to talk about. You know. Yeah. I mean, a prime example of that is what's happening on Instagram now. Like these these actors are having character profiles. Oh yeah, and they have huge. Uncle Joe and all those guys, yeah. Tricks and all these tricks. people have, you know, <laughs> yeah. they have huge followings. Yeah. It's like if that is not a prime example that no one gives a shit what event you work at. We want your damn character. We want to see exactly. you as your character running around. You know, it's it, yeah. I, it's it, it's funny because I, I watch the Dark Harbor Spiders become all these individual little characters. And yeah, it's amazing. It's like. Dude, yes. Where was this in 04? Damn it! My favorite thing is the is the uh, lunch the the Tuesday truck the food truck thing that oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When they food truck the Tuesday the... I've seen yeah. that they especially during the pandemic and then during the Christmas like you see how you see how creative these people become with their yeah. their costumes and their character and it, it blows me away. It's fun. Yeah, our home, dude. We do that food truck Tuesday. It's so every dope. So often. Yeah, it's super dope. Yeah, the Christmas yeah. time was so freaking awesome, and we do plan on doing another Christmas themed one. Yeah, I want to try and get out there during one just just to go be a part of it because uh, I love seeing that. Yeah, but it's a lot of it's a whole another beast. It's it's this whole other thing. It's almost like Instagram has its own haunt. Yeah, yeah I mean, really, all are in See, it. We didn't, really none did. of us had that when we started out. Yeah, none of us did. I mean, we had no. mice. We had MySpace, but nobody. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't even around when we started. It, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was. It came back. It came around like two thousand five, six, or something like that. Well, so, when it started, like, wasn't it ninety nine or uh, two thousand something like that? No idea. But I was like, the two thousand started haunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, and a lot of people didn't have the ability to record. Therefore, you know, yeah. uh, none of. I mean, if your mom came with a camcorder, then maybe you got on some video. But yeah, it looks yeah. like they're from a they're, they're from a news channel because the thing's so damn big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been I've always been a very firm believer in giving everybody creative freedom. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously you got to keep them you got to keep them within the scope of what you need. Yeah, uh, if you, if they need help, you help them. If you need to draw them back, you draw them back. Yeah, yeah you exactly. know. But if you give them creative freedom to 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 develop something, at first, you know, it makes them feel it makes them feel more respected. Yeah, right. Um, you know what I mean? And it's not like you don't you're not trying to take something away from them unless they're doing something that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. and, 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 and well, it's yeah. yeah and it's also a collaboration i mean you have the main people that, that run the haunt they have their theming they have their, their designs their, their you know their their general idea of what they want but you're hiring these people to be monsters and to you know be creative as well you know you, yeah. you're not just hiring someone to be a button pusher or to be a you know someone sticks to the script you know it's like yeah you 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 hire these people to make your event elevate and when you pigeonhole them, it doesn't work very well, you know. So exactly. you do need to give them a little bit of creative freedom. You know, you give them little guidelines and go, all right, cool, run with this. Let's see where you go with it. And then if you're not elevating, 
let's work together and elevate you a little bit more. Yeah, we'll make yeah. investments. It's yeah. pretty freaking easy. It's simple, you know. Yeah. And Knotts does that. Dark Harbor does that. A lot of the in, you know independent haunts, you know, smaller yeah. pro haunts, you know, they do that for the most part. Um, so, yeah. For yeah, there's, there's people like that at Shipwreck where it's like you could tell they were doing their own thing and nobody cared. So it was a little weird. It was like, what is happening here? Is this part of a theme? Are, are we themed or is this just everybody does whatever they want? Uh, yeah. And Knott's had that too. You know, Knott's had yeah. that too. And not, especially in the beginning, Knott's was a little bit, uh, uh, I won't say a little bit, they were a lot more laxed when it came to people kind of doing their own thing. And some yeah. people just went out of theme and just went way off base and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? But they, <laughs> but but they killed it. It's like you don't you see them. You're like, yeah, you kind of don't really match the theme of Ghost Town, but they kill it, you know. And then well, you have the you other. Got... You have the opposite of like they match the theme perfectly, and then they're just like fucktards that don't do anything. Yeah. And you're like, well, and then you got then you got certain guys that you know after the last hanging, they're a little bit complacent. They want to do something fun, so they grab a couple of towels and they start running down the street like this. Scary yeah. towel guy. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious, but we're, it's like we're beat people. What the with, fuck just happened? We're beat yeah. people with plastic hammers. What? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or take trash can lids and slam them on the ground. Yeah. So Angel, <clears throat> since we were touching on creativity, when you were at Dark Harbor, when did you actually feel like, hey, now I'm now I'm really developing a character that I want? Like when you decided, hey, I'm going to develop Rash. Yeah. Uh, it happened the first time I met Katie. Uh, Katie said, okay, what, what's your character? And I just, I, for a second, I really had to think. And I was like, God, I don't know. Just the slider guy? <laughs> Is that a character? You should have called yourself Skidmark. <laughs> it, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so she made me, like, think about it, like, really pull it out, like, who is this guy? What is he doing on the boat? It's like, oh, here's your costume. What can you, what kind of story? Tell me a story around this costume. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. And so 2010 was just, this is the guy. This is what he does. He's kind of like a, uh, uh, what, what was that program with uh, Scott Bakula? Quantum Leap. Quantum He's leap, just yeah. leaping through dead body to dead body and different things, trying to find a way out of hell. Okay. And so every year it was like, what am I this year? Oh my God, I'm a shore patrol guy. And then next year, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a steampunk guy. Oh my God. Like yeah. just, every year was something new. And that's, that's how she kind of made me see it. That's kind of cool. I ended up seeing it. I like that. <laughs> so how did, how did the name rash come about though with that thought process? Oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry, so dude. I'm digging if, it right if now. Lee and Tony are listening to this. They're going to have a great chuckle about it. Uh, the <laughs> first time I ever slid was under their direct supervision. So I can blame this on them. <laughs> we were in the back uh of my apartment we were in the parking lot area where all the cars park but in the back nobody parked back there so right. there was a big hill and lots of asphalt okay it wasn't the greatest asphalt but you know you could slide on it doable yeah and so that's that's like okay let's pad you up and take a couple slides we're gonna baby slide you all right all fours you're just gonna go and grrr, that's it and you're just gonna stop and you're just gonna kind of get the feel for it Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can do it. Back it up. <laughs> Get a couple of running steps going. Here we go. Down. There we go. All right, I'm moving right into an oil patch. And my right arm goes underneath me, and oh. I decide to stop on that arm. Oh. Um, I get up, and it is just dripping with blood just everywhere. And there's, like, <laughs> little bits of asphalt embedded Damn, in my arm. Dude. Oh. Oh. I'm like, okay, don't cry because everybody's watching you. All the all the cool guys are watching you. Don't cry. Just shake it off. Ah, all right, brush off all the asphalt, all the dirt. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I go up, I wash my arm, I come back down. They, they did not think I was going to come back down after I went and washed my arm. Okay. They're like, have you done there, Road Rash? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, that's my name. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. See, awesome. okay, I knew there was... There was something along those lines, but I've never heard the the backstory of the name ever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just knew it had to be tied into some kind of digger. I, I didn't think it was your arm. I thought maybe your pad slipped or something. I was thinking your knee. Your knee. Yeah, yeah no, was it thinking. was my arm. My my bigger <laughs> arm. <laughs> Damn, dude. The one thing we don't protect, right? Exactly. I couldn't tell you how many times I've jumped and slammed and just I hit elbow first and go 
boom. Oh, your whole hand that's, goes numb. And then you just like, oh, you want you try to walk it off because you're in character. You're like, oh, walk it off, walk it off, walk it off. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fr- you just feel the tingle Use it. in your Make fingers. It look cool. Use it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you go backstage and like, show that blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your whole hand's like, you're all oh, scary elbow, scary yeah. elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yes. now that we know Rash, where Rash came from, which is awesome, by the way, <laughs> you know, it gives me. It, now I have a clear picture. That's a of good it. name. Yeah. <laughs> so as you now you're you're ready, good to go. You're you're sliding. You're consistent. So now when you have the team together, when was the first year? You're like, okay, it's time that you know they they ask you to do that. Like Dark Harbor asked you to, hey, can you guys put together a show? Was it like yeah. that, or did you guys say, hey, we want to do a show? They they were looking at us and they're like, can you guys do a show? And we're like. Kind of. I mean, we've screwed around at, at Shipwreck before. I, I I think we can do one. All right, here's here's the space we're giving you. Here's about 15 minutes of time. What can you do with 15 minutes of time? And then it just became like the gathering of minds. All of us just in a circle, just put our heads together. And we're like, okay, let's think about what we've seen. Let's think about how we can improve that yeah. and how we can put our own stink on it. It's like, okay, all right, so let's start doing this. Let's try this first. And it became just one trick after the other. It's like, will this trick work? Who can do this trick? Who wants to do this trick? Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, then, yeah. All right. And before we know it, we're writing it down. We're like, okay, so and so is going to do this. So and so is going to do this. Okay, but they're going to go out and they're going to hold a pole and we're going to do this. And before you know it, there was a script and yeah. then there was a show. And then all of a sudden, it just, okay, can you guys do this twice a night? Oh boy! All right, uh, yeah, we can do this twice a night, sure. As yeah. well as, as as well as scare people, sure. Why not? Yeah, sure. yeah double duty, man. I can double duty. Yeah, sure. Like, as yeah. long as you provide the <laughs> Red Bull. Oh my god! Oh my god! We had cases of Monster in the back, and I I blame those on my anxiety problems. I, I drank way too many of those things. Dude, that's crazy, man. I try to stay away from them, but it's during a haunt run. It's tough. Sometimes you need it for a See, PPF because you're we so tired. We didn't have Red Bull and Monster in our days like when we were you know, like we're freaking old people. We had um, boys and berry we, punch. We had well, we had the boys and berry punch, which was sugar. Oh, yeah. was a heck of a lot, heck of a lot of sugar. But we also yeah. had. Um, <laughs> uh, we would get at least I would. I don't know. I don't know if you would get them, Scott. But the uh, they were almost like um, their energy yogurt. Oh you, yeah, for, yeah. We well, get those from the sports uh, sports chalet or something. Yeah, the gel packs. <laughs> the gel, yeah, yeah. They're, they're yeah. super good. It was like just downing a thing of yogurt, and they were supposed to give you energy. I never really noticed it, but I did it just in case. <laughs> oh man, so so now I feel ghetto compared to you guys. <laughs> well, well, for energy. Here's, no, we would be drinking thing. Monster if we had it. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is what I did for one year. Is that I got this. I got this uh, brand of energy drink called Merlin, which wasn't okay. bad. It, it tasted like Red Bull. So I would drink one one can of those and pop two ginseng before it went out of the night. Yeah. Oh, I was fucking fired up the whole night. But the best <laughs> part was by the time we were done, all of it was burned off and I was good to go. Yeah. Crash out, man. Just crash yeah. out. We, we like, got those. Okay. Have you ever been to a liquor store and seen like they have like direction pills right yeah. next to energy yeah. pills? Yeah, we could get some packs of energy pills. <laughs> <laughs> that, you cokes, we're going to go, man. We, yeah. we got it all night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I, that was the only year I did that. I mean, I, that was it. I mean, I don't know why I did that every night, but I just, after that, I'm like, no more energy drinks. I mean, I'll do it when I absolutely do. It's just the heart palpitations at a certain point. You're like, okay, I need to stop, man. Yeah. I can see through time right now. Yeah, yeah I, pretty, exactly. I pretty much stuck to the poison berry. That kind of kept us going through the night um that sugar rush <laughs> yeah i mean we were so stupid we didn't even think about water back then <laughs> it was oh, just uh, know what else yeah. too food wise <laughs> hamburger patties and pickles dude Protein <laughs> and the sodium just so you can stay a little bit high you know, yeah so the sodium you need yeah. oh um, my god yeah <laughs> Yeah, we, it was young bodies too. Young bodies can function on that stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah of course. That was Wade's idea. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And I'm like, after the first time, I'm like, okay, this seems to be okay. Stabilizing, you know, it doesn't feel heavy because you're not eating the bread. Yeah. yeah. You know, and stuff like that. And when they didn't have hamburger patties, we had to resort to shitty hot dogs. Right. Uh, not the same, but. Or the crappy uh, the chicken the chicken uh, tenders. 
That's one of the best things there, though. <laughs> the chili fries. I used to munch on the chili fries. Uh, we, anyways, we're yeah. going down another rap. Yeah, rap we're going down another rap. This, this, this is about you, Angel. This is about Huggies. Let's talk about yeah. Huggies. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so now you've solidified the character Rash. Yeah. Okay, and I remember coming a few times, like when you were at Giggity. Clown. I remember coming out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was funny because, Jeremy, this was a day. This is the one time when we went and... I saw you and I took a picture with you and I grabbed your ass and a look on your face and the picture was hilarious. Like, <laughs> I remember that. The goose monster loose. <laughs> that was funny. So, okay, now let's 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 get into some of the uh, the uh, nostalgic stuff that we did. 2016, <laughs> big big year for the community for the slider community. Biggest year. Biggest yeah. dude in my opinion. Um, yeah, it was. This is Jeremy. You remember this? This is mm -hmm. when we did the slide, the first, the inaugural Sliders Unite show. Right. Um, Angel. That I wasn't made... invited to. I'm not hurt by that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? That I wasn't invited to. But that's all right. Oh what are you no! Talking about how? Did you see all the posts I did on that? You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to be a part of it. You dildo. You weren't even working anymore. It doesn't matter. I was still sliding. <laughs> in your wet dreams. I was still sliding. <laughs> Those are the best wet dreams, man. See, Scott looks yeah. at it this way. He didn't want to invite me to come be a part of it because he didn't want me to get carried out in another ambulance. Oh. Touche. I didn't think of that, but now that you mention it, that's true. So I'm just kidding. So, I, I wasn't hurt by it. Very real possibility in Long Beach. Yeah. Well, I, he, well he, no, he, I, he, I have a uh, different reasons. When you, when you yeah. yeah, you you watch the you watch uh, episode uh, three. I think three is my history. You watch that, you'll get the story. Dude, nice. yeah, it's uh so yeah but i don't know if you're aware of this angel sliders unite like that was started being discussed 10 years before it happened was it really yeah lee and i started talking about it his first year at queen mary yeah no kidding yeah we started talking about it and as we started going it kept getting pushed off next year no next year next year and i know during shipwreck it was a time because they didn't want quote unquote enemy talent coming in on their footprint yeah you know, because that's yeah. how they visualize things. And that's how the industry was for a long time. There's still a lot of that now, but. Yeah. It's, it's a garbage mentality. Because we're stupid, all doing man. the same thing. It's man. so we're stupid. It's facts. really stupid. It's a stupid mentality. Yeah. 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 And that it's was a, a big reason why we actually did Sliders Unite, to help bridge that gap, to make people see everybody can work together. It's funny. Yeah, exactly. It was funny because we would always get shit. Like when we'd go to, the, well, you know, not Dark Harbor. Well, we go to Dark Harbor. We wear like our ghost town stuff or whatever. And, uh, you know, people would say things or, you know, whatever. And I always thought it was like high school shit because, oh, yeah. you know, haunt rivalries reminded me of uh, football game rivalries. Yeah. And I always, and even back in high school, I was like, this shit's so stupid. Why are you guys like, it doesn't make any sense to me. You guys are None doing the exact. I get like one wants to win. <laughs> I get one wants to win, you know, and all that. That's fine, but it's just the sports mentality. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't fit in the haunt industry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, because it's the monsters aren't the ones that are winning the fucking event. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, you won. Yeah, good for you. It's like, oh wow, you got. A scare? Hey, I did a scare over there too. Interesting. <laughs> and you know what's funny is it, it, it? I know it was pushed off so many years because there we unfortunately we still had a lot of those mentality guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, it took getting them out of it yeah. to really get us to a point where like, oh no, all these guys are okay with other people coming over to hang out and scare together. And yeah. holy shit, this is rad. Why haven't we done this before? Yeah, because um, other people were holding us back. Yeah. Okay. Not to mention that was probably one of the funnest nights I'd ever had scaring because I was tag teaming with people from different factions. Oh my you guys, god! Yeah. With the Universal guys and all that, you know, so it was great. So I, I got to slide with a lot of my mentors, man. I was very happy. I that was I, that night. I was on fire, man. I was just, I was like, if they're watching, they need to see this. Oh, I gotta go see what they're doing, and it, it was just so exciting. I'm like, why couldn't it be like this all the time, man? Yeah, all the time. God, that'd be amazing. I know. It's got it's it gets better, but that's that mentality is still there. Yeah, uh, but I mean, what do you what like you and I haven't even really talked about it since that show. So I, I mean, oh how, yeah, what do you feel like? How do you feel like 
about that show and like how it went and all that stuff. I mean, amazing the interviews and, and stuff and they had articles but yeah no it's absolutely amazing and like i like i said i'm just sad it didn't happen way sooner because i feel like when that show happened everything opened up all yeah. of a sudden people saw that it was cool you can be you can hang out with these other haunts or you can go to this haunt or you can go to that haunt like i i swear it spawned a lot of these personalities we're seeing on instagram now because they don't just scare at one they scare at this one, they scare yeah. at this team, they go over here. Yeah. And once you get all that kind of collaboration, that, that art collaboration coming together, you get a lot of amazing things coming out of that. Yeah. Like yeah. we could, we would never have thought about going to like a, a, a taco truck place and scaring and yeah. setting up camp and taking pictures and keeping like people's morale up during a yeah. terrible time. Yep. Like, wow. Yeah, that wow. was that was why? Why did it take it so long? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was one of the things like for on that side, we we really we thought about that because we wanted to keep people engaged, uh, you know, keep people engaged and keep the team visible. Yeah. During yeah. the down year. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it really worked. You know, they yeah. wanted us to come back all the time. I mean, we'd be back there a couple times a month if they it, you know, if, if it was them, but sure we they don't did. want to burn it out. Yeah, exactly. It's like you want to do enough to keep you in people's minds, but not yeah. so much with like, oh god, these guys again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it's a you it's know. a fine line to ride. Dude. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know that 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 night too. I mean, when we actually ran the show, you wouldn't realize that we we had a total of maybe six hours of of rehearsal for that. Of rehearsal, yeah. <laughs> Two nights, three hours a night, roughly. Wow. Yeah. That was so crazy, man. I was, I was like, we're gonna pull this off. We pulled this off with less. We can do this. We can do this. Right, right. Yeah. But how to many, work with all the legends, it's like we really can't screw this up because they're watching. <laughs> how many years did you guys do that? I was only there for one year. They did it another year. Angel, were you there for year two? I don't think I was there for year two. I think I only came for year one. Okay, so and then I retired. Was year two? Yeah, I moved. I moved the next year. Okay, yeah. They yeah. tried to get me to fly back in to do it. But I, I'm like, dude, the only way you're gonna do that is if you can pay for pay for me to come out there. Yeah, and fly back, fly back it. in. Because 2017 would have been year two. I was in Boston. Oh shit, that's right, that's right. Yeah. If you're good so, at something, don't do it for free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. So you know, and I shouldn't say anything because my new haunt is uh, all volunteer. So. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. But it's a good cause. It's a good cause. Yeah. yeah. So basically, 2016, that year was like. It's like, oh, dude, I'm leaving with a bang. I'm yeah, bang yeah. Bang. No, I, I couldn't have been happier with the year I left, man. I was so, I as a haunt monster, I was fulfilled. Like, I was good. Yeah. Like, okay, if I'm going to retire and move up to Seattle, this is how I'm going to do it. So what made, you, what made you move up to Seattle? Oh, actually, it was uh, a lot of my lady's idea. Uh, she really wanted to move up here, and uh, she had family that had just recently moved up okay, here. Becky. <laughs> Yeah, it's Becky's fault, all right. Yeah, but uh, we moved up here. We came up here one one year, or like before we did the show. I came up just to kind of look around, and I was like, you know what? I like it here. It's not scorching hot. I like the rain. I like the cold. Yeah, man, everything is green here. Holy yeah. crap! That's how I felt when I moved up where I'm at now. But it's now become L.A. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, he's he lives in NorCal now. Yeah, I live in. Oh, a, so you're close. You're close. Uh, you're, uh, you're moving in the right close. direction. I'm getting close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it sucks because the, the current job that I have now is a full remote job, and they're like, "Oh, you're in California, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And they're like, "Okay, well, we couldn't give you the remote if you were not if you were out of California." And I'm like, uh, "What's the purpose of remote then?" Exactly. You're, tra you're trapping me. It's it's for tax purposes, but oh, wow. so the whole so like yeah, it allowed, it allowed everybody to go remote as long as you stay in the freaking in California. The bracket, so, yeah. so California, in the right yeah, California is pigeonholing people to stay in this in the in the state, but if, okay. as long as they're remote, but they have to stay in the state because everyone just bounced to Texas and everybody bounced to Nevada and. Yeah, you know, rightfully Different so. Tax brackets. Yeah, there's no state tax, so California lost a lot during the pandemic, yep. and they're like telling the companies, "Well, we're gonna." They're basically telling the companies that they're they're gonna be penalized, and the company's like, "Fuck that!" <laughs> they're like, yeah. uh -uh. they're like, you have to stay in there. I'm like, "This is 
garbage. It was like one of the first. Home as long as you're in California. Yeah, it was one of the first things I said because I was excited because the person that recruited me was like, you know, was like, you know, I get your permanent remote, you know, and get you more money, blah blah. And I'm like, dude, fuck yeah. And the only thing I'm thinking because my wife is now permanent remote, I'm thinking, bye. We're out of California, <laughs> man. I'm getting the hell out of here. And first thing they said was like, oh, so you're in California, right? I'm like, yeah, okay, go because we couldn't hire you. I was like, I'm like fuck off. Oh. <laughs> I was so pissed. So. You know, but when you mentioned that you're in like a small town, we used to be that. Our town, you used to be a town. We're now an official city now because oh, yeah. just during the oh, pandemic yeah. alone and current, currently they're building like 40,000 homes Ooh. and our housing market just went up, went up by like 150 to $200,000. It's yeah. just disgusting. And now we got Bay people, we got LA people, a bunch of douchebags that came and it sucks. <laughs> It does. It really, it really does suck. Like, you can tell. You can always tell the transplants because they still drive like the people back home. You're like, oh, that's God. exactly it. And my wife today <laughs> like got freaking pretty much tag teamed by two guys in in Mercedes Benz. You know, white Mercedes that they were just being yeah. douches to her, and she's just like asking me, "Can you check the car from your phone?" And blah 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 blah. And I'm like, "No, just like why?" And she told me this, <laughs> and I'm like, "Dude, what the fuck, man? It's just it's nonstop. I'm on the road, and you see all these idiots, and you're like, anyways, we're off topic." Yeah. Yeah. We're off topic. Sorry, we can get into okay. a whole podcast just about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we we've, now we're to your to your current state of mind. Uh, you moved you moved to Washington in 2017. 2017, yes, sir. Now, did you correct me if I'm wrong on timeline? Did you start Nile Nightmares, which is your new haunt, then or a year later? Uh, you know what's funny is I. I I made it here just in time for their their Renaissance Fair, which I had to see. Oh, so we of course. Uh, yeah, of course. And then the second pirate Jack, was, by the way. What's that? Jack, the pirate, whatever. I forgot your your fair name. Oh man, I've changed it a million times. It's it's just Angel now. <laughs> Horse shit. I, I put more I put more emphasis in my character at Hunt than I do at Fair. I'm just like, oh, of course. Hey, I'm just, I dress whatever I want now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I got to that age where I'm just like I don't even care anymore. I get you. Comfortable and drunk. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, we, so we moved up here, and I'm sorry. What was the question? I totally forgot. Uh, when you started Nile Nightmares. Oh, well, okay, okay. I'll talk to myself. So I came up here, tried the fair. I was like, okay, I want to see their their haunt industry. Let's see what they got up here. Let's see. Is it anything like mine? It's probably not. Let's let's look. So we went around. We were checking little haunts here and there. 85% of them are outside in dirt and cornfields. Yeah. 84%. Yeah. At wow. least. <laughs> so that's that's the majority of haunts around here are outdoor trail haunts, which is right. cool. It's really great at night and it's pitch black and there's trees all around you. Yeah. It's rad. Yeah. Super atmospheric. So there was yeah, so there was just one little tiny haunt that had um any kind of slidable asphalt. And so we went and we saw it and I was like this is really cool. They have an outdoor area because you do like a trail and you go from like house to house. Right. But then there's a there's like a, a festival area where they have food trucks and oh, there's nice. a okay. side area where they have like uh, uh, people selling food and tarot readings. They have little escape rooms. They have a, a, a beer garden because they you can't walk around with alcohol, so they put you in a corral. Right. Nice. And then they had a little stage for like independent bands to come and play. And I was like, that wow, cool. this, this place is rad. And I, I, I checked it out, and it was really cool. And I ended up talking with one of the people who was working there. And I'm like, uh, how do you how do you guys get a job here? And they're like, well, it's all volunteer. We work for the uh, Nile Shriners. If you know what a Shriner is, they're the guys who help the kids who have burns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, you're, oh. you're, you're on a Shriner's property, right? Yeah, we're on a Shriner property. It's a golf course, but it's their golf course. Right, right. So we do all our events there, and then they make the money off the golf course and on the events that are on the space. So it's uh, it feels a lot like the Queen Mary, where there's a lot of stuff going around throughout the year, and yeah. then just in October, it's it's a haunt. That's right. cool. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I went, I saw it, I checked it out. I was like, okay, cool. Like I didn't make it in time for this year, but you know, I'll, I'll hit you guys up for next year maybe. And that's when they told me, oh, we also do a, a Christmas haunt, and I'm like, I'm well, in. I, Seriously? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, wait, who do I talk to then? They're like, okay, here, let me give you some information. And I I, I wrote the guy and I said, hey, you know, I, I just came from California. I was a slider at the Long Beach Queen Mary. And he's like, oh, I've heard of that. And 
I sent him some videos. I'm like, just so you don't think I'm blowing smoke up your ass, this is me. And I, I, I sent him some videos of me doing some stuff. He's I'm like, like oh, cool. Did they know what sliders were? They, yeah, they, the guy who runs it, Pete, is really into haunt. And he goes oh, okay. to so conventions every year. He goes to the trade shows. Like, he stays on top of what's what's the hottest. That's good. That's but good. he doesn't have a lot to work with, so he, he makes do with what he's got. Yeah. And, and he does a lot for the little tiny space we have. He does a lot. And he was really excited. He was like, yeah, you know what? We're having a, an awards banquet for this year's uh, uh, Halloween haunt. Why don't you come on down and just meet some people? And oh my God, dude, if you've ever walked into a place and all eyes just turned and looked at you when you walked in and you're just like, oh God, am I in the right <laughs> place? You front loaded everybody. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh God. And no kidding. Five minutes later, I had people coming up saying hi, saying, hey, hey, what are you drinking? I'll, I'll buy you a drink. I was like, oh yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a, a beer. Yeah, all right. And then it just went from there. And I just made a lot of the friends that I still have to this day from that place, I met that night. Like that, that minute. Cool. That's back. awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. I was like, you know what? I'm in the right place, man. I'm in the right place. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I looked so, at their um Instagram and it looks like a really cool event. Yeah. Yeah, it's it really is. Cool. I mean, I they we we need a little bit more oomph and we're working on that. But um yeah, it there's so much potential in it. There's so much potential. Because I look at it and I look at it like like it's shipwreck. But I'm like, I can see the dark harbor hiding in this place. Like, oh yeah, oh, I want to bring that you've up. You've already experienced it firsthand. Exactly. So you exactly. can see the development, you know, the possibilities yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay, exactly. so you're you're okay now. You're you do their Christmas haunt. Uh huh. And then the next Halloween season, you go into them. Now, were you? I know you're the one that created the Northwest Possessed team. I was mean. Uh, I mean, a couple of people. <laughs> yeah, but you're. It was a joint effort. <laughs> well, you, you kind of spearheaded it. I I, I, I yeah. can say for a fact because just that's the way it works when you get a California <laughs> transplant. So <laughs> when, when that happened, like, did you like when when you got it when you got in at Nile? Did they just say, okay, we just want you, we want you to be our slider type of thing? And basically, that's what it came down to. It was like, yeah, man, can you just go out there and just entertain? I'm like. Yeah, I can do it. And then before you know it, people started to ask, like, hey, where do you get your gear? And it's like, oh, well, I get it here, and this is how I do it. And like, could you teach? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I don't mind. It doesn't bug me. Yeah. And uh, the biggest obstacle was it's because it's volunteer, nobody's getting paid, that it's yeah. hard to, like, put that extra money into any kind of gear at all, period. Yeah, yeah. So that's the toughest part. But it does separate the people who really want to do it. Yeah. Because those people came forward and... They wanted to do it and they were doing it on cheap pads until I told them what kind of pads work better and then they invested and then before you know it, I've got a little tiny team with me and now we're doing shows and they're setting time aside to, for us to do little shows. That's awesome. Yeah, but and it's like, it's funny because I watched the shows and I'm like, this is nowhere near what we used to do at Long Beach or, or, or not Halloween Haunt, but right. it's a start. Yeah, it's a start. you start somewhere. Exactly. It's yeah. an absolute start, and I hope this is going somewhere really good. But I have a I have a really good feeling about it because more every year somebody yeah. asks somebody else asks, "Hey, how do how do I get into this?" And it's like, yeah. "Oh, you came to the right people." I have, I have a phrase that I that I started saying in the last few months: "Growth is eternal," and that's a hashtag oh, yeah. too. And yeah. and that's that goes for anything, humans, events, anything. Yeah. It's eternal growth. If you don't grow and you're stagnant, you're gonna die. Exactly. It's, you know it's, it's sharp, man. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep moving forward. To get, so this is to get the prize. we're in 2021 now, and you've been there. Oh since, my god! You've been there what three years, four years now? Um, yeah, yeah, the whole time since uh, winter of 2017. So 17, 18, yeah. So how, how, years, yeah. How have things changed from the time you stepped on, you know, stepped up into their uh, team and to where you are now? Like, are you know, I, I, talent wise. It, you know, it's funny because there's, there's ebbs and flows to it because every year we you get a new crop of people coming in. It's 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 a few of the old familiar faces, mm -hmm. but every year it's like a new batch of kids comes in or a new batch of kids turns 18 and they don't want to do it anymore. So mm -hmm. it's always changing. There's always new interest. There's always new characters. And it's like, okay, man, this is great. We can work with this because this is always something new. Something new can be done here. Yeah. And it's funny because this year we were like, okay, well, how are we going to either top or be better than last year? And it's like, all right, well, do we have a theme? Uh, no, not really. Okay, let's make a theme. Let's let's 
get a little story going. Let's get some props set up. Let's get some music set up. Like we can do this. Yeah. And it's great because they're all so just willing to like, okay, yeah, let's give that a try. There's no never like, nah, we've always done it like this and this is good enough. And it's like it's there's none of that. There's always yeah, like, can good. we do more? Yeah, yeah, cool. Let's do more. Let's do more. So what you're saying is now you're more on the production planning side of it too, as well as talent. It, it's gotten to that point. They they put me on the production side and I was just like, you know what, I've seen enough where I can tell you guys, give you guys some good advice. If you yeah. guys need me to do certain stuff, hey man, I'm in. Like yeah. I can I can paint stuff. I, nothing is beneath me. So I'm you there. you help build and do all that? Yeah, we build, we That's good. Uh, train, we do the uh the the promotional stuff. Like he, he just started doing uh radio promotions. Oh, and so really? basically he's like, Can I get some people to come out and do stuff for the radio? And it's like you don't get a lot of people stepping up, but I'm like, Yeah, man, we did that all the time back in Queen Mary. Let's let's go. <laughs> Let's put do on the makeup you, and ham it up for the radio personalities up here. Do you guys um, have like state fairs or any fairgrounds there that you guys yeah. have carnivals that you can promote at? Because those are really yeah. good too. We have those things. I don't. I don't know if we've ever tried to promote at them. But sure. uh, the about two years ago, we had uh, something called Taste of Edmonds, which is a city right across the way from where we have the the events. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And basically, they wanted us to march in the parade nice. it's like oh okay. all right cool yeah it's like, angel can you slide i'm like hell yeah i can slide on the street let's do it <clears throat> so we we go and we're, we're we're all set up and i've got all my gear on and we're walking up this big four-lane highway and mind you i'm saying we're walking up this four-lane highway and they're asking me to slide uphill the entire oh, time shit. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's brutal <laughs> Oh, about 15 minutes in, I was like, I think I'm going to die, but I cannot die right here. This would not be the way to go. Yeah. All right, yeah. going, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And I just kept scaring from left to right. I just walk up and scare into the crowd. Oh, my God. It was funny because uh, so many people had never seen what I've done before. And so they were scared shitless. Scared <laughs> shitless. So much so, they complained to the city. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I was so proud of that day. I was like, I made people carrying me up. Yes. That's like, awesome. Okay. <laughs> I did in, my job. In broad daylight, <laughs> that's the best. Broad daylight, man. Broad daylight, and they were terrified and calling calling the city to say complain oh about Oh, my God. It. You know, it's funny that when you said that, you know, they complained to the city. That reminded me of, um, I don't know if you remember Josh Ballard, Angel. He was the, he yeah, was yeah. the okay, so, oh, duh, we're in the same clan together. <laughs> so, this, this brings me back to when we filmed Season of Screams. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and Josh is doing his bit, and he's like, yeah, and I'm going to get you. And when I get you, I hope you're going to have to go to therapy. And I hope it's going to cost a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that that reminded me of that. I, I was sad. I was like, I'm sorry I'm sending you to therapy, but it's best you know now before you get older and it gets more difficult to go through it. So, you know, yeah. I'm glad I'm starting you now. That's the one thing like I tell people when we used to do, you know, back in the day, how we used to just terrorize kids. Like <laughs> we would fuck with kids so much. And I said, this is going to do one of two things. It's either going to make them go to therapy or fuck, fuck with them for the rest of their lives. Or yeah. they're going to, they're going to become haunt monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, that's how you do it it's like this is how we separate them i'm gonna make a new generation yeah one or another <laughs> yeah you just wear them down yeah oh my yeah God. yeah so, see that's the big thing it's about fostering growth for the future generations exactly if they don't see that it's fun and that it's amazing what are they gonna care yeah, yeah. what are they gonna care man so it's yeah. good it's good to keep it going it's yeah. funny because my brother um he just sent me a video he took his his three-year-old to uh a spirit halloween Okay. Oh. The, the entire video is her just looking at masks and putting them on and making hot, uh, scary monster noises. And that's awesome. Like, awesome. Yes. That is the Martinez awesome. family tradition carries on. Yeah. Future haunt monster. Future I, haunt you know, monster. I, which which brother is it that's working at Knott's this year? Mario. Mario. Okay. That's yeah, the my brother Julio retired. That's the one that came to fair with you all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy one. Yeah. The crazy insane. <laughs> one. Yeah. <That's> it. <laughs> Dude, Jeremy, the first time I met his brother, by the time they got to us, he was obliterated. Oh, really? <laughs> he was so wasted. Yeah, it was not fair. 
was that fair? And you know how that. fair goes, you oh, know. Yeah. But I love and, that. dude, Angel carries as much as alcohol as I do sometimes. Oh, that's <laughs> rad. So <laughs> just take it out from behind you. It's like, what do you need, bro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, try this one. This one. This one. Oh, you need a beer? What kind? Hold on, I think I got one back here somewhere. Here you go. <laughs> you you bought you bought a mini keg. Pretty much. <laughs> I had one of those belts that had like a six pack holder on it, and it was just always full. Uh, that's yeah. awesome. That's cool. I'm 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 set. That's good. It's under the jacket. They don't look so. Exactly. You know, no metal detectors back in the day. Yeah. Well, they still don't have them now. Oh, well, thank God. Yeah. Um. So, okay, with Nile Nightmares and Northwest Possessed, like, I mean, is there anything you can talk about, like, what you see the future of that or anything you can kind of divulge on on this podcast? I know we're not there yet. This isn't going to even come out until next year, you know, oh, okay. too, but I yeah, mean, we're, we're like, we have so many in the bank right now. We're just kind of, yeah. It's not, it's not. Next year, we're hoping to be a little bit more of the current <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to get a stockpile because this is by far the busiest haunt season I've ever had. With yeah. Yeah. now I'm working at Hayride, and I'm I'm doing some some uh, mentoring there and my own business. So oh, wow. all those things, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, a it's, it's a busy season, man. It's a busy season, and it's still a crazy world out there. So yeah, it's trying to nav- trying to navigate all of those aspects. It's like yeah. oh my. I, w- I wish we can like just b- keep it real time and just post as you know after we're, as we're going but like I'm so busy yeah. with my work and kids and family stuff that like exactly. edit- editing life, time is limited. Life happens. Hmm? Yeah, life, life absolutely it happens. You, just, you do the hobbies in between. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. My life is hobbies. I don't have a wife or kids. <laughs> well, lucky man. Well, Keep doing yeah. what you want to do whenever let's, you want to do it. <laughs> let's teach you how to edit, man. Nope. <laughs> that was not the original agreement but anyway oh, yeah. we got off track of yeah. so yeah talk about what you can talk about as evolution what you what you see Nile nightmares is going to do and how long you think you'll be there uh so i love the place i love the people uh it is always evolving um northwest possessed i i do see it because we've got younger kids in the crew now like i'm definitely the oldest person in there so they're going to carry it on long after I've said, okay, you know, I'm hanging up the pads. I'm, I'm officially fired. I'm done. Which is going to be a while, but still, yeah. Um, yeah. it's going to happen. It'll eventually happen. And yeah. so I'm just kind of instilling in these kids like this sense of like, this is how it can get bigger. This is how uh, we treat each other. This is the supplies we use. These are the people we use. Like this is, this is how it's done. Yeah. You take it, you run with it. You make me proud. Let's see yeah. how that works. And you and can still so, be a part of it even after you yeah. retire. Cause... Yeah, exactly. I'll always be somewhere in the background. I'll always be rocking the hat, yeah, whatever. That's what Scott's doing. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, it's the same thing. It's like you're mentoring people, you're training people, you're showing them how to do the thing that you love so much. Yeah. Right. And that, that's kind of what I'm leaving with this group. I, I tell yeah. them hysterical stories about the people I used to scare with and the monsters I used to scare with and the characters we used to come up with and, I see their minds start to work and like, well, I want to make a character like that. And then they start doing their own thing. Yeah. And before you know it, I've, I've got a crew and they've got their nicknames and they've got patches and they've got everything ready to go. Like this is going to go on a long time after me. Um, originally when I got here, the first person that made contact with me was my uh, homegirl Teresa, who is actually a very driven woman and wants to create her own haunt event. Wow. Like she's, she is the motivation we have. She is focused. She's singular mind. I want to haunt. It's going to happen. Like that's her dream thing. This year, she actually got enough to make a small, like a garage haunt. Oh, nice. She's nice. Gonna, yeah. She's going to do it for uh, a couple of nights on Halloween. And all the proceeds are going to go to like this dog rescue. But she oh, nice. just wanted the practice. She just wanted to make the set paintings and make, make the lighting effects and, plan out everything so she's learning it she's knowing it she's in it and basically that's who that's the people you stick to if you're if you're the most like exciting person in the room you're in the wrong room you got to be in a room with people who excite you yeah and that's that's where i'm at it's like she's got me excited about what the future could hold yeah so i stick to her we talk all the time she's basically our booking manager <laughs> And so oh, really? she looks around to other haunts and she talks to other people. She's, she's embedded in the, in the, uh, 
industry up here. Like That's she knows great. a lot of the heads of all the haunts. That's and great. So she's, she talks to them. She she uh, you know makes her little contacts. Says, hey, I, I've got a couple of sliders. If you, what's a slider? Oh my God, you got to see these guys. And before you know it, we're booked at other places. It's like, oh, okay. So we're not always going to be at this one, but you know, our it'll be our home base. But we'll have gigs at other other events. There are some really big events here. That's cool. uh, there's one in. Uh, it's called Federal Way. It's just a. It's just about twenty minutes south of Seattle, and they've got they've got a theme park. It's a, it's a tiny theme park, but it's a theme park. Oh, and okay. they have a haunt, and they they can go there, but they have no sliders. And it's like, hmm, okay, let's talk to you guys. And yeah. before we know it, we're probably going to end up getting booked at that. She's still talking to them, but it's like I said, it's it's the crazy time in the world right now. So it's if it doesn't happen this year. Don't worry, it'll probably happen yeah. in a year or two, you know, whenever, whenever off and down the road. Well, yeah, yeah. Next, we're just playing the seed work, you know? Well, they got to yeah. release the next like five variants first. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we on? Delta? We're, yeah. we, we're on like uh, variant four, I think. <laughs> we go to Alpha, Omega, Beta. I think they have know, a, Echo. Yeah. They down the whole Greek alphabet. Yeah. 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 Frodo. It's. Amoeba. It sound like a giant frat of yeah. uh, diseases. <laughs> COVID, the frat, the frat edition. <laughs> frat variant. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know variant. So <laughs> what happens with that one? Yeah, you turn into a bigger nerd. Yeah. So like, I know it's it's far off, like you mentioned, but like, what do you see yourself doing after you decide? Okay, I'm going to step back from being talent and a slider. Like, do you see yourself like? becoming more of an administrative person, production manager of a haunt type of thing, or overseeing talent, something like that. You, you, you know, I'm, in the future? Yeah, I'm keeping it real loosey goosey. I'm not like uh, set on doing any one thing. I'm just gonna be open to whatever comes down the road. Like I, 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 I needed to be more open when I was younger and I wasn't. And I know that that kind of blocked off a lot of, uh, of opportunities for me. Yeah. And now I'm just like, no, I'm not going to be rigid at all. I'm just going to go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And whatever capacity I'm in, I'll be happy. And like, it'll be fun just doing it, just having right. being the show or just being the, the, the media guy for the, the group and just yeah. taking all their pictures. That's, that's the thing that kills me right now. It's like, we would have so much more media, but there's only three of us that can do it. And we can't really whip our phones out in the middle of a show. So it's yeah. like, Ah, yeah. uh, so yeah. Eventually, I'd like to do something where I'm just kind of shepherding the team, maybe. Yeah. Just kind of keeping an eye on them, making sure they they get what they need, making sure they get everything they they ask for. Yeah. You know, just kind of a kind of a promoter, kind of a manager, just making sure they have a better experience than I have. Yeah. <laughs> and not that yeah, I just and, have a good one. Just yeah, I know they can have a better one. Well, there's 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 a way you can take out. The, the pros and uh, the, the cons for them, you know, you can make it so exactly. you can help them make the right decision going forward. Right. So it's not a uh, trial and error for them. Yeah. I exactly. always say that too with my business, but that way they can learn from you because you can be, you're like their mentor. They can learn from you and they can understand, Hey, you know what, this is what he went through. I don't want to go through that. Exactly. And you can help exactly. them find that path where they can bypass it. Yeah, we just we stop the drama dead in its tracks because I'm like, no, 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 I've been down this path and I know what it does to a team. This yeah. has to stop right now. Yeah. See, so. we didn't have the three of us as a whole. We didn't have any of that going through huh. in our early years. We yeah. had to find our own way. Yep. And it was uncharted out. territory, man. It was totally yeah. uncharted territory. We didn't yeah. know where the hell we were going. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. What we do is we all got to be a little bit crazy yeah yeah you know? there's, there's yeah. something loose <laughs> yeah but at the same time look at what it does to the people that come in to watch exactly yeah you know exactly. it's a big it's a big thing for people that are into it they don't want to be a part of it on our side yeah but they want to still be entertained by it yeah they want to see it they, they they enjoy watching it and it's like only the crazies can really do this stuff but it's fun to watch them yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so and that's you know that's the biggest thing for me now, like being the older guy now, I love watching people develop. Yeah. And get better over the years. It's awesome. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. You know? that's, I see that's, that's fun. That's, that's making my heart happy. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to be the scary guy now. 
Yeah, exactly. And I'm not exhausted at the end of the night and sweaty and, you know, exactly. everywhere. And <laughs> well, be, not being exhausted, that, that, I would beg to differ because I'm still exhausted yeah. at the end of the night, but you know, <laughs> in a different way. It's like, it's not physical, it's more mental. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been through 16, 17 years of this, man. I'm, I'm tired, but yeah, I can still do it. Yeah. I can still do it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard when it's still fun. Yeah, that's the problem. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's like, no, I'll hang it up. It's it's not that much fun anymore. And then you go out and do it for an hour. Like, nah, it's still fun. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm pretty fortunate that I'm still able to do what I do. Yeah, you know, and you know, so I mean, I ain't getting any younger, but I'm gonna keep doing it until I'm able to. Yeah, yeah anymore. exactly. Until I can't do it, or or even then, I'll do it. But it's only gonna be like one night. It's not gonna be seventeen nights in a month. It'll be like one one big good appearance, and then yeah. That's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how many nights uh, Niles works? Seventeen. Uh, they're doing fourteen, I believe. Oh wow. We, we skip a couple of Sundays, and then the last Sunday is Halloween this year. Boo. Yeah. I don't it, remember. It, I don't remember ever working nights uh, that few nights, except for like my first two years. <laughs> yeah. First year like a ten to me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> My first year was seriously like ten nights, dude. Oh wow! I can't imagine that this year because they everyone opened early. They need to recoup their that money, so they yeah. everyone yeah. opened early. Yeah, so that's a lot of freaking nights, man. I don't you know, know how... we used to joke back in the day, like in between the hanging, we're on breaks. Yeah, we're sitting in the back, it's like fuck, we're on. You know, we're doing twenty plus nights, twenty five nights or whatever. I mean, we've done as many as twenty eight nights, but we were talking about it, and then one of the guys goes, "Next time." 60 incredible nights of haunt <laughs> i just started laughing you know because it's true so we're practically almost there man yeah i mean dude uh horror nights opened up september 6th yeah yeah no it's 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 funny because i'm watching it and i'm just like oh my god this is what happened to thanksgiving thanksgiving <laughs> ended and all of a sudden bam christmas yeah black friday christmas 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 and i'm like that's happening to us. It's like Labor Day's over. Boom! It's it's Halloween. It's, it's like on season. Yeah. Yep. Screw it, man. Cool. Yeah. Let it let it roll, man. Let it be that's, two months. That's the way I look at it too. Yeah. You know? Exactly. So. Whatever makes your little tiny heart happy in these crazy times, do it, man. Just yeah. Do it. I mean, it's good for people in the industry that, of course, not the ones working these events, but. <laughs> the ones that work other events, they can go and check out these events that they were never really able to go see during their season. Yeah, so, right, I mean, right, exactly. So it's kind exactly. of cool, but um, you know, leave it to Yeah, COVID. that's the only downfall for me is because I'm still working a single event for this for each season. So it yeah. takes away my opportunities to go visit other haunts. Like this year, I'm I'm doing I'm doing knots tomorrow. Well, this is gonna come out later. So this year, I'm doing knots. <laughs> you you did doing, knots I'm... last year, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh my god! Never mind, bro. What? You just said, oh, this is coming out next year. So I yeah. said, oh, well, you did knots last year. Yeah, I did knots last year, and, and I'm doing uh, Fright Fest. That's yeah. it. Oh, right on. So Go up to the, the mountain and see the see the kids up on the mountain? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I want to see their offerings this year. Hey, those guys are badass, man. All those guys are badass. They're, yeah. they're up there, and they don't get as much attention as, like, you know, everybody down further south. But yeah, they're up there killing it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So 2018, I went. It was fun. And all them? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm bummed. I'm not going to be able to see them this year. I will be going to Discovery Kingdom's Fright Fest because I'm nice. two hours from there. And that should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you, go during, you, know? you go during the day, and then like all of a sudden, the monster's running around. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. I guess it's the haunt. I guess it's Fright Fest. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that's what's cool because a day ticket gets you in for a fright fest. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, we're taking. Oh, the, nice. We took yeah. the, we took our kids uh, when they were one. Obviously, they had no idea what was happening, but now they're three, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, we gotta take them. So, well, it'll be interesting to see how they react to it. <laughs> I mean, they come into my room, and they they're just like, oh, faces, and it's like, oh, there's a monster, and you know. But <laughs> we'll we'll see when it's like chasing after them. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> Let's see how it switches real fast. Yeah. Oh, hey, man, I don't yeah, know like, yeah, that's why we're going during the day so we can kind of feel you know, they can have some fun and it wasn't yeah, a complete waste oh, of time. That was, that was like when uh, Dark Harbor had our day our day event. 
and yeah. we were the little scary monsters and we were handing out trick or treat candy and what doing slider that? shows. That, that? that was uh was that during shipwreck? About a year or two before you you guys came up in sixteen. So Oh wow. Okay. Fifteen? Okay. That's yeah, a, they had a daytime. That's a good. Event. That's a good idea. Yeah, no, it was a great idea. We had a ton of people. They yeah. had little kids costuming, and they. Oh, we, oh my god, it was the cutest damn thing. We had kids dressed up like us. Oh, that's that right. Awesome. Dressed up like us as sliders. I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. We, we we reached that point, man. We reached that point. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, super dude, cool. that's rad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some pretty amazing young kids out there that are, you know, they, they have the talent as sliders, yeah. and I, I can't wait to see when they're when they become haunt monsters. If they ever do. And it's great because they they've been watching us on YouTube, and like little places like that for years. Yeah. And so now they 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 know our moves, they know how to do it. Yeah. They end up practicing when they're younger. Yeah. And bam, by the time they're 18, they're they're beasts, man. They're yeah. ready to tear it up, and it's like. Dude, yes, right on. Well, think man. of it this way, dude. Like when we started, I mean, I, I, I've said this before in other podcasts is that when we started, we found that we found, I can't remember how we found it, but we came across a video of guys in Japan sliding. No shit. Japan. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was after Season of Screams was released. And it's like, holy shit. But the fact this that is amazing. The, yeah, the fact that it got there was insane. That was yeah. insane. We were all just blown away by that that's yeah. how far it's gotten man yeah and i know there's 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 a couple of haunts in, in europe like germany and holland that oh they have like insane haunts yeah yeah and they, they have, have some sliders there insane haunts heck yeah they, they know man they know this this is a tactic that brings the scares it brings yeah. the it brings the entertainment like it's it, it brings everything yeah, yeah it not have them. Yeah. why not have a bunch of them yeah yeah, so, you know. it's so cool, man. Like my um, the the gal I was talking about, Teresa, she is actually going to go see uh, Halloween Haunt for the first time, really? uh, the first weekend of October. Oh, okay. So she'll be down there to see see all what's uh, what it's all about. I go, hey girl, these are the guys, these are the giants whose shoulders I stood on. Yeah. And if you look around that, you got to see what they do, man. It's I was going to say, fun. dude, if she was going opening night, I'd be like. Tell her to look me up. Oh, I, I, I wish, man. I wish. But they, they, they got a schedule. They got to keep. So they're not going to be oh, down yeah. until like the first week of October. But I'm like, you need to go. Yeah. She's like, I'm going. And I was like, damn. Good for her. I hope she enjoys yeah. it. She's going to be blown away, man. She's going to be absolutely blown away. And I, I hope she comes back with bigger ideas than she already had. Yeah. Like, I'm excited for this. At well, least this is good. Uh, this is good for you guys. She'll definitely come back inspired. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Like that's that's I, what I want. I want you to see where I came from and understand where where I'm trying to take things. Right. Yeah. Then we'll go from there. <laughs> I, I I do want to make it out there at some point. I don't know when. You know, I never yeah, man. There's I'm in the I'm in the spare bedroom that's always available to you, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> I definitely want to come out there though and, and see you you know see your you guys in action. Oh yeah, yeah. You know and um and and see how everything pans out for you. I, I, it's looking good, man. It's looking real good. Like, uh, you know, problems of the world notwithstanding, it's looking real good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's 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 fertile soil up here, and it's just begging to be tilled and planted, and something bigger can grow here, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Spot, come on, come on up whenever you want to, man. We're here. I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. I, I think we covered your entire history. I know we kind of sped through it, but... We're up over an hour and a half now, dude. It's it's there, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, so, you got the picture of me. <laughs> yeah, I know we did. We got a snapshot because we wanted. I, I mean, Jeremy and I talked about when we first started discussing doing a podcast. We wanted to bring people in from different events and venues, yeah, and get their yeah. story. And dude, when I was, we we're telling him, well, he was like, "What about Queen Mary?" I said, "Well, we got these guys." And then I'm like, "Well, Angel, he's up. He's up in, uh, you know, Seattle now doing a haunt up there." And he's like, "Oh." So, and then I'm like, okay, we'll get him on. <laughs> and that's when I'm like, I'll just reach out to him. He'll do it. I didn't even say, that. I don't know if he'll do it. I just said, he'll do it. Cause I knew he'll do it. <laughs> I asked, he'll do it. Yeah. So, um, anybody but, else, I got to think twice a little bit. <laughs> I'm not. Come on. I know you would do it. If it's right, if it's the right idea, I think you'd do it. And this is, that was the thing too. Like when we talked earlier, I, I was like, okay, it's going to be a loose format so we can just let the conversation flow and, 
you know, when things come out and that's how we answered, how I was asking questions is based off of what you were, you know, what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And it's easy because we've known each other for so long. We, we know each other's yeah. little stories and stuff and we've, we've been through the same stuff. I was on yeah. a podcast uh, a couple of months ago with uh, one of my team members, old team members from back East. Oh, and wow. so he started a podcast and he, he wanted to interview us and just talk to us and see where everything came. But his was, it was a little bit more like, here are the questions. What are the, what are your answers? Here's the question. What's your answer? Yeah. Cause yeah. I didn't, I didn't know the guy, so I couldn't, you know, just we're, have that rapport. We're structured. Yeah. yeah. It felt more like an interview than it did like just talking with buddies. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we, we, that's what we wanted to get away from. We wanted to make it feel like, Oh, we're just relaxed. I mean, shit, you're in your PJs, bro. Yeah. I can't <laughs> you know, you're drinking a beer and that's what we kind of want to be just relaxing. And it's us like bullshitting, but we're talking about th something that we love so much. Yeah, you know, those, those are the best podcasts. Of, yeah. yeah, those are the absolute best podcasts because you feel like you're sitting in the room just talking with your buddies, and yeah. you feel kind of like the ghost in the room because you want to say stuff that no one's gonna hear. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why I wanted exactly. Scott to be uh, a part of it too, because he and I we've been friends since the beginning of Haunt since yeah, we started over and, twenty years. Yeah, it's been a long oh, time, man. and um, you know our chemistry is like that you know, brother chemistry where we're always fucking with each other and always like talking, <laughs> talking crap. And that's, a, that's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the vibe I wanted to have you know, for the podcast. You know, Heck yeah, it's the best kind. Cause Those when you're super serious. Yeah. Cause when yeah. you're super serious and professional and you know, it's like, yeah, it, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> you know? And it, yeah, it's, there, it'll be different on a guest by guest basis, you know, right. but right. Um, when it comes well, to less presentation and more conversation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah, was my thing too. I wanted to have, le I, I wanted to have the most, the minimal amount of editing that hasn't been the case, but I wanted to have, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to have the minimal amount of editing, you know? So it's, it's it, as much as I want to have people send me footage because I want people to see what you're talking about you know, visually and stuff. But like I, when people don't send me anything, I'm like, all right, cool. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I just like slap on our, our little uh, graphics and, you know, call it a day. There you go. You know? so, yeah. Do me a favor, like send me some, some old photos from back at shipwreck, dark Harbor, and then <clears throat> Nile and Northwest possessed, you know, send me some of that stuff. You know? Oh yeah. Brother. You Absolutely. Email it to me. Yeah. yeah. Also all your, uh, your, your social media, you know, links. Oh, yeah, yeah. For oh, yeah. Why don't you, why don't you go ahead and get, because I know you got like three of them. So why don't you plug those real quick before we, before we say adios, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can find me at uh, NWP Rash on Instagram. Uh, the Northwest Possessed Sliders are also on Instagram. And then you can also find uh, the Nile Nightmares Haunted House on Instagram and Facebook. All right. That's three big ones. Yes, so, those are the ones. <laughs> so, peeps, you've heard it. If you guys want to see what, what his haunt is all about, go check out his pages and give him a follow. Yeah. And as usual, you guys click and follow ours as well. And that'll come up. So I'm not going to say anything about that. Yeah, stop <laughs> saying it because it's in, it was on the screen the whole time. <laughs> not now, but it was. It will be. <laughs> yeah, see? So... <laughs> It's like but, that uh, whole co-host thing all over again. Stop, all over again. Stop saying it. <laughs> We're equals. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Adios. Peace Bye. out. <laughs>